So what you heard there was just a really simple arrangement on this keyboard. The thing I like about this keyboard is it makes it very, very straightforward and easy for you to play all sorts of theme tunes. That one just happened to be Jurassic Park, because I quite like it. But I'll show you behind the scenes a little bit about how I set it up. And what this keyboard is allowing me to do is, is be the conductor of the group, like being John Williams. It's going to allow me to play with an entire orchestra um, with just using the two digits if I want to. I don't have to be a terrific musician. Um, what I've done here is gone into the style section. Keyboard essentially says, okay, what style of music do you want to play? And I'm saying, well, I want to play something that's movie and show in style. And this particular one, having experimented, I found the one called Romantic Movie. It's really good for Jurassic Park. And the way it works is we've got a section um, on the left-hand side called Variations. And Variation A will give me a very simple laid-back um, good for the introduction of a, of a soundtrack type style like this and the left hand side of the keyboard becomes my style control so I'm being the conductor of the orchestra with my left hand here and if I just play one note okay now what you're hearing there it's not going to change I've just happened to play a C with one digit it's automatically completing the rest of the chord for me and watch what happens when I move to a different note the whole orchestra seamlessly changes with me. It's all at my own speed, they're all following me. And as I go, it's changing. Now, quite cleverly, the keyboard has a section called, a uh, button called OTS Link, which is, um, in simple terms, it's, it's understanding what type of style of music I want to play, and it's now going to give me an appropriate sound on the right hand side of the keyboard so automatically it's changed it from a piano into this lovely horn sound in fact we can see it on the home page here orchestral horns so what I'm doing is just playing the melody here and the effect is really good about those four variations again a b c d when i change to b we get a, a move a big movement from the orchestra and again it's changed to something that's um, still appropriate for this romantic movie style which is good for a lot of soundtracks and again the left hand is being the control they're all following me and the right hands now change to violins and strings which is just about perfect now we've still got C and D to go so really I'm, I'm barely doing anything to this at all I've chosen the style I've said I kind of want it to work automatically for me and just follow my directions here on the left. So I go to uh, D, which I happen to know from experimenting, gives us a really, really gentle sort of alternative to the main theme. And it just so happens there's a bit in the Jurassic Park theme, which works nicely. So again, just using digits, we're going to go to variation C now, which gives us a, a bit of a lift, and it's a different, different type of uh, instrumentation again, but all automatic. You might see me pressing C again just then, and that's just to do this. It gives us a little burst of um, like an orchestral hit. And if I press break, it gives us a similar type, just a variation on it. And when I want 
to do an ending, just press one of these buttons here. Um, ending number one, the simplest one, it will just fade it out like that. So what I've done there is, is so basic, I've just gone from the built-in uh, styles. I've basically said to the keyboard, right, I want to play that style of music and it will do everything else. It will give me the right type of sounds with the right hand side and it will just say, okay, I see you want to play that type of music, you be the conductor and the left hand side of the keyboard becomes that um, style control as we call it. Now that's just one of the presets in here so it's been that easy to go in there and as I said I'm choosing Jurassic Park because I quite like it but there are many different types of um, uh, movie soundtrack that you could play with that. But for next time going on here they it's quite thoughtful of uh, the chaps at Yamaha they allow you to then save your settings for next time so if I've got one called Jurassic Park um, all set up uh, these buttons here called your uh, registration memory this is where you, it's a bit like just taking a snapshot of how you've got the keyboard set up and you can save it into that button just there which is really handy um, so there it is Jurassic Park theme there's even a really good section called playlist where you can uh, save all the extra ones that you do so I've called this particular list of songs movies so Jurassic Park but I could fill this up with all sorts of things and then save it so next time I turn it on it's already there ready for me to just press and go but there's so much variation on here you know I just picked out Jurassic Park because I quite enjoy playing it um, but there you go that's how easy it is to just start sounding like a John Williams style uh, movie soundtrack just using your two fingers. If you have any questions on this at all, just leave them in the comment section below or send us an email, sales at epianos.co.uk. And thanks for watching. Bye bye. Clever girl.